Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you some lip combos that I would consider wearable, everyday, and tan friendly. As some of you may know, I've downsized my makeup collection drastically, and so the lip products I'm gonna be using, it's a lot less to choose from, but I definitely consider my staple pieces for everyday wear. The first lip combination is what I have on my lips already. This is MAC's Whirl Lip Liner, pretty classic and cult favorite. And then on top of that, I applied Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collaboration with the Ultra Glossy Lip in Moonchild. This is a thicker gloss, so it does come off a bit more opaque on the lips. It's a little heavier than I would like, but the lip combination of these two work very well together. I think there's enough opacity on this to just go without a lipstick, but still get some of your lip showing through so kind of like a muted down lipstick here we have the next lip combo and this is max sore lip liner along with milani's lipstick in naturally chic many people consider a muted pink as an everyday option for when they're wanting to put on lip products and so i wanted to make sure that i included it in this video and because i do have a tan complexion i feel like bright colors pop even more against a darker skin tone so i wanted to go with a pink that was sort of in the medium category so that it's not blanking out my lips and doesn't look extremely pale but keeping it on the muted end so that it's more everyday wear appropriate so that is this lip combination lip combo number three we have nars's lip pigment in somebody to love as well as max lip liner in plum i wanted to include a darker option for everyday wear it's not drastically dark but definitely darker than most people go with an everyday wearable lip i also wanted to include this lip combo because when you find the perfect shade of mauve or purple with the right brown undertone, it really flatters the tan skin. And having said undertone allows the lip to go well with more eye looks. So if your lip color leans extremely purple, sometimes you have to go about your eye look a little bit more specifically. But with the incorporation of a brown undertone, more often than not, you're pretty good with any eye look. I did want to mention that this lip pigment is matte, as you can see, but this formula, for whatever reason, is not thick and it's not drying i absolutely love this formula this is my favorite matte liquid lipstick so there we have combination number three lip combo number four a lip combination video would not be complete without a go-to nude lip with this lip combo i decided to go with the three-step process here let's start off with the lip liner this is max strip down this is the nars audacious lipstick in barbara and it looks like this and then we have the color pop ultra glossy lip in fairy floss everyone has their nude combo that they go to and this happens to be one of my favorite ones this is the contrast of the lip liner and the lipstick and with tan skin i usually prefer to have a darker outline and then a lighter lipstick and i do that more so because the pigment on my lips is a lot darker on the outside so if i go with a nude color all around it just looks off so having that gradient kind of pulls everything together and creates a cohesiveness in the lip look so this is lip combo number four lip combo number five in this lip combo i wanted to go slightly more peach and stick with that nude option so we went with the ColourPop ultra glossy lip in menagerie the mac lipstick in kind of sexy cult classic and I use the MAC Lip Liner in Dervish. I would like to mention that Dervish on my complexion is not opaque. My sole purpose in using this lip liner is to cancel out the darkness of the outer portions of my lips and blends into the color of the center of my lips. So like a more balanced lip look before applying other lip products on top. So I thought that's worth noting for anyone that's interested in this lip pencil. I had to make sure that a nude peach is included in here because I know that for tan skin it's very complimentary and this lip combo can go with so many things so there you have lip combo number five lip combo number six there has to be a red there has to be a red combo for a lot of people every day is not bright and vivid and so sticking with that theme for this video i wanted to go with a more toned down red i started off with max lip pencil in chicory this is such a pretty red 
brown. This one here, if you like red brown and this sort of combination is your perfect red, I highly recommend this lip liner. It is my favorite, like muted down, neutralized red. And then I paired it with Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick in Walk of Shame. And this is the lip combo side by side. Sometimes adding that extra step in applying a gloss is just, it's too much. So using a lipstick with a creamier finish gives you that glossy look without that extra step. So here is lip combo number six. Lip combo number seven. It's somewhat similar to combo number six that it's slightly red, but this is more brown based. Any addition of brown to a lip look, I feel just makes it wearable. It makes it every day. And not to say that bright colors aren't, but when you tone it down, it takes away from the thought process of how everything else will look on the face with neutralized lips. Everything is kind of more fair game when it comes to your cheeks, when it comes to your eyes, and which is why for majority of people, it is the go-to lip look. So this is the brown option that I like to go with. This is Max Mahogany Lip Pencil, and we also have Max Lipstick in taupe. This is such a pretty lipstick. This is the second tube that I have of it. I finished the other one completely. And this is the lip combination. As you can see in comparison to number six, this is definitely more brown. So here is lip combo number seven. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and that it helped you out if you're on the hunt for a new everyday lip combination. If you guys like this makeup look, go ahead and head over to Instagram. First link in the description box down below. There I will post a photo of the makeup look along with all the products in the caption. However, in that post, I will be listing the lip combination from the beginning of this video. Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys. God, I have to take all this off. Guys, every time I do a lip swatch video, I pray to Jesus that my lips don't go raw because they have. You gotta do it all for the tube. Tubular.